Liberty Fighters Network. 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 Good day, liberators and fellow South Africans. Yes, I've changed our video intro a bit, and I hope that you like it. Uh, it's just a, a recollection of where we're actually coming from uh, as an organization, and just to, to emphasize and prove that we are not just simply a fly-by-night organization. We've got a history. We've got a track record. And um, we not. I'm not just a keyboard warrior. Uh, I'm not just making videos and not doing what I say. I physically have my hands in the dirt and I'm fighting for our rights. Uh, we've got plenty of public interest court cases running. Uh, we assist people in need who can't afford or who don't trust lawyers anymore. We help them free of charge and um, we, we're fighting the fight. Um, this year so far in 2024, um, I'm very much excited that that the um, we've managed to to be successful in two urgent court applications to the High Court to stop auctions occurring, even though those auctions um, or those judgments that we are also asking for the court to rescind have been passed a very long time ago, a year or so ago. So we find we people come to us and we look at the case, they stand um, the, the, the chance of of, of losing their property, their only residential home, and we cannot just tell them, sorry, we can't help you. we hands-on and we fighting the fight. So uh, we've got a track record, people. Um, lately, you know that they, there was this one, one person uh, whose name we're not going to mention uh, anymore, um, who went out and tried to defame the name of, of Liberty Fighters Network, and uh, there were accusations that uh, me and my my team will be uh, arrested soon. <laughs> I'm still sitting here, so so just show you that that we've got a lot of enemies. Um, and and as I've indicated, that specific person was actually a bank agent, and um, there were actually other people that that were sent by the banks to also try and derail us, but they were unsuccessful at the end of the day. But let let me come to the exciting news that I actually want to say, share with you and uh, you will also see on my uh, on the, na the, the, the um, name of this this video that people do not fear Jacob Zuma and Mkonto Wisiswe party. Um, there's, there, there, there's a, a bunch of, of rumors out there and it's it's spread by the mainstream media obviously and and the enemies of the, the of the people that Jacob Zuma is this evil corrupt person Take it from someone who is has become a, a very good friend of him and who's actually, in fact, I am, if you still don't know, and I don't blame you because the mainstream media will not share that with you for obvious reasons, that I'm his legal representative before the African Commission on Human People's Rights, specifically to challenge his imprisonment sentence uh, on the 29th of June 2021. And um, I'm the one who's, who's fighting the fight for him, free of charge. I'm treating him just like all the others that we are servicing and, and assisting. Um, Liberty Fighters Network don't charge for our fees. We cannot ask anything for our services in relation to, uh, to um, drawing or compiling court papers and also representing people in court. Yes, we can charge for, for other stuff, but, but we simply don't. Our philosophy is that we are assisting people without expecting anything in return. And Jacob Zuma is just another normal person that we are assisting with his case. And for the reason, as I've explained previously, that his case is directly connected with our appeal uh, case before the Supreme Court of Appeal, uh, where, where his judgment on the 29th of June 2021 was used uh, two days in, uh, or the after uh, on no, it was on I believe on the second of July, twenty twenty one. Yes, where his judgment was used to to justify my contempt of court, apparently, 
And as you know, I'm, I'm busy with, with going, the, the, the state or on behalf of the Supreme Court of Appeal is actually prosecuting me at this stage now for running for two years. I'm also representing myself um, and I've, I've previously made videos about what is going on and what where it's heading to. And yes, uh, I've recently also made a video about the court case uh, in Grobersdal, um, where everyone made a big fuss about it, and and no one is supporting me at this point in time. Not physically to, to to go to court physically, and uh, be there. It's only me and my wife constantly there. Uh, I think I've been there, shoot, uh, probably eight times or so, seven, seven, eight times. I've, I've stopped counting, but in any case, uh, where I had to travel all the way from Pretoria to to uh, Bloemfontein each and every time. But in any case, let me just go, quickly go back. The, because of the fact that I've got this professional, friendly relationship with Jacob Zuma. And um, he and I had a lot of discussions about reformation of the legal system of South Africa. So he assured me that if Umkonto is, is going to become either the, the main uh, the ruling party or an opposition, proper opposition party, Reinhard de Beer, as I'm sitting here, will definitely be part and parcel of the reformation of our legal system. And people who have followed me, you know that I am no friend of the British-inspired legal fraternity in South Africa. Uh, I'm a big uh, advocate for South Africa to totally break our ties with the Commonwealth of British uh, of Britain. Um, South Africa should never have been a member of the Commonwealth after 1994. And uh, it was in fact, none um, other than late uh, uh, Nelson Mandela who actually took us back into the Commonwealth and uh, started new ties with, with uh, the British monarchy. And, and, and I, I just want to emphasize that I don't have anything about uh, against the people of, of Britain. Um, just like they also dislike their leaders, I also dislike their leaders. So it's nothing personal against the, the land, the country of Britain. Uh, I've got a major issue with the, with the British monarchy and its representatives. So uh, I believe that it's not the best or it's not in the best interest of South Africa to, uh, to have ties with Britain anymore and inclusive of the US of A. And again, I don't have anything problem, uh, any issue with the people of the USA, uh, because they also dislike their leaders. And uh, so, so it's, it's, I, I like the country, the land of America and, and its people, but just like they dislike their leaders, I also dislike their leaders. And it's very important for South Africa, if we really want to proceed, we need to go and support someone like Jacob Zuma and Mkonto Wissizwe. And I can guarantee you people that for someone who has been working with him and presenting his case, and I will just, I will show you now that uh, what, the, 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 what is going on in his, his matter at, at present. Um, but I've, I've seen through something like almost probably 2000 pages of submissions to the African Commission on Human People's Rights. It's, it's information that any one of us can get out there, but I've just chronically uh, organized it in a in a in a proper way in presenting the true facts of Jacob Zuma and the fact that he has been targeted by the enemies of the people to uh, with with his prosecution and eventually his uh, sentencing to prison for alleged contempt of court, which we I am assisting him now to challenge. Now. We've, we've lost, Liberty Fighters Network has lost a lot of support. Um, I've seen there were probably a thousand people or so that just left our one telegram group uh, shortly after I've announced that uh, I'm representing Jacob Zuma. And, and I hope that all of uh, many of those people are actually listening to this video now. Because now it turns out that the strategic uh, step that I've taken to decide to side with Jacob Zuma and help him to, to, to fight his case, because eventually it's, it's also connected to our case, so it makes all logical sense. But I all, always believed in Jacob Zuma, and I always knew that Jacob Zuma was set up. Um, it's, it's only him and uh, another guy by the name of Hendrik Verwoerd, 
who don't have any Illuminati or um, Freemason connections of all the leaders of South Africa since, um, since well, the beginning of, of, of time um, in, in South Africa uh, with, with uh, white colonization. So, um, so, so that, that should tell you that uh, Jacob Zuma is a tribalist. He uh, is someone, he's one of the, the few people that I have met in my life that I can, I can honestly say when he speaks, you know that he is sincere. And he's not nearly the, the, the tyrant and the corrupt criminal and the oh, and, and unintelligent. Oh, my word, yes. People think that he is so unintelligent yeah, because he just apparently finished Standard 2 or something. But the moment when I, I ask people, people, can you speak Russian? Can you speak Swahili? Can you speak French? Can you speak Portuguese? Can you speak Afrikaans? Can you speak English? <laughs> and, and so on. Um, and, and people say, oh, no, 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 I don't think, well, then you better stop thinking that Jacob Zuma is not very smart because he can speak all those languages. Why do you think um, Jacob Zuma went to, to Russia when uh, there was a delegation of African leaders going there a couple of months back just before his, um, his remission? And I will get to the remission just now. Um, because he was the translator. He was the one who had to translate between the Africans and, 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 and Russia, and specifically President uh, Vladimir Putin. But in any case, people, now, um, yes, the, 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 we are so used to uh, accepting everything that the mainstream media says as truth, as, as, as yes, and when I go on, on when, when I've got the time and I go on, on Facebook and, and I see the comments that, that white people specifically are making against Jacob Zuma and how stupid he is, and uh, then I just think, you know what, that person who's making that comment is the stupid one. Because if you really take care to go and get the information yourself and not to trust the mainstream media, and in my intro, the last part, there's a big crossover mainstream media. And yes, um, I'm, I'm totally against the mainstream media because they are merely the puppets and they are the broadcasters of our enemies at the end of the day. So um, let me just go to the case of uh, Jacob Zuma before the African Commission on, People's, uh, on Human People's Rights. And let me just show you how South Africa is lying. Just a simple thing. And, and that simple thing is making a lot of, of, of uh, impact and, and uh, is, is very relevant at the end of the day. So let me just quickly go here. Um, yes, let me go to this. Um, firstly, this is the letter. Uh, I've just blanked out my personal information. Sorry for that. I don't know. Lately, there have been gritters um, trying to... Um, to, to, to infiltrate us again and uh, you know, I'm just concerned. Yes, they can obviously get my contacting details if they really want. But this is the letter I've received from uh, on the 17th of January 2024. Uh, Mr. Rainer de Beer, they call me counsel, as you know that I am not a, a um, member of the South African legal fraternity, um, but I am allowed to represent people in the African Union um, uh, platform. So, uh, there's, there's a confirmation that I am his representative, but let me just quickly go to the submission. And we've waited a very long time. They didn't want to, to respond at all. And eventually the, uh, South Africa responded uh, they, they, to our submission that we made. And what, what, what is relevant here is blah, 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 blah. And there's a lot of interesting stuff. I will make this available in due course. But um, I want to go to paragraph 20 specifically to just show you how conniving the South Africans uh, uh, state representatives are. Okay, now you still remember that that uh, there was this uh, parole case uh, where, um, where the commissioner and um, uh, the commissioner and, and Jacob Zuma himself um, took the matter to the constitutional court uh, about the regarding the uh, his, um, uh, the the ruling of the High Court that he needs to return or that he could not have gone on parole. And eventually um, the constitutional court uh, con concluded that there was no, no reason, uh, reasonable, uh, um, uh, um, uh, reasonable chance of success. And um, then there was this strange period whereby uh, people thought that 
that Jacob Zuma had to return back to, to prison. But uh, the decision was actually uh, before the commission, National Commissioner of, uh, of, of Correctional Services. And he did not go to jail after the Constitutional Court dismissed his uh, application for leave to appeal. And what, now look at this. At this stage, it is safe to submit that Mr. Zuma did report back at Escort Correctional Center to continue servicing his imprisonment sentence. People, um, you knew, you know that he did not return. Um, he was not put in prison, but yeah, they are putting before the African Commission on Human and People's Rights that that he returned, um, and that that uh, and, and and why it's relevant is that they try to picture this this nice noble effort of uh, Cyril Ramaphosa, the president of South Africa, if he is if if one can still call him that, but in any event, now. Um, they want to make him this nice guy that he was the one who decided to remit the sentence of uh, Jacob Zuma. And um, so let me just quickly go, go in more detail. What the mainstream media does not tell you is, um, and, and they, uh, they go on and on and on, and they, they, they didn't even, even deny that, that, um, that South, uh, that, that, that um, the constitutional court made a made a mistake by um, not um, by by sentencing him to, to imprisonment directly without the right of an appeal. Now there's Advocate Stemmet, he's the uh, acting chief state law advisor, um, and uh, he, he compiled that on behalf of South Africa. But but I would like to go to our case, and there's our rejoinder. It's just a other name for a reply to that. And very importantly, important is that. That uh, let me just go down to what they don't tell. What South Africa did not tell the the, the, the African Commission is that um, oh there it is our letter on the second of August twenty twenty three. I in fact on behalf of Jacob Zuma submitted representations to the National Commission of Correctional Services, uh, Mr. Mukhoti Samuel Tobukali, um to in uh, in in. Uh, so that he should not be sent back to, to prison. And the main thing here is the fact that there's a, a case pending before the African Commission on Human and People's Rights. And in terms of international law, they cannot interfere with the processes before the commission if it's, it's all about challenging his imprisonment sentence. And for that matter, he cannot be sent back to jail while the African Commission on Human People's Rights must still make a determination whether that imprisonment sentence was justified or not. And uh, very interesting here, and I, I did make a video of this before, is that um, that the DA itself shot itself in the foot. And I, you know, I'm not a very big supporter of the DA. Um, I think they are just puppets of our real enemies. And there it says, as you are most probably aware, Commissioner, only last week the Democratic Alliance, which Ryder had been informed is one of the predominant entities demanding that Mr. Zuma should return to prison, has obtained a court order to the effect that the RSA should respect international law and structures established in terms of it, like the International Criminal Court. In Kasu and on the theme of the proverb, what is good for the goose is good for the gander. Reitek reasonably does not foresee that inter alia the DA would suddenly turn to be hypocritical and demand that the Republic of South Africa violates the processes currently pending before the African Union under the African Charter too. So, yeah, it is that that um, the DA, uh, if you can still remember, we went to court and they wanted uh, Vladimir Putin to be arrested when he uh, when he comes for the BRICS summit, and um, and so they ran to court and. On that same thing, we just simply said, but if if there was a confirmation by the DA uh, challenge that uh, we should respect uh, the ICC and that that Vladimir Putin must be arrested once he set his his feet in in South Africa, then then in, on the same thing, you're not allowed to proceed sending uh, Jacob Zuma back to prison if there is a, an international process going to challenge his imprisonment. So the actual reason why there was a remission of so many and President Ramaphosa wanted to get the, uh, the, the applause for it, 
is the fact that that they knew that they could not have proceeded while the process was not finalized before the African Commission on Human and People's Rights. So people, um, as I've said, that I've compiled something like about 2,000 pages of fact. I've just brought, I've just connected the strings and the dots with one another in a much better way. And eventually I will put that on our website for everyone to also see that Jacob Zuma is not the enemy. That he has been made to this big enemy of not only the people of South Africa, but, but of white people. And sure, if he was really the, uh, the enemy of white people, then I, I don't think that he would have utilized someone like myself, who is an outspoken burr, um, or you know it as a boor. And um, specifically also that I'm doing it free of charge, I'm not expecting anything in return. So if you are saying, oh, but, but he's paying you and there's a lot of money uh, being pocketed, people, I'm, we, we're totally transparent. So please put the, that evidence in front of, of, of the, the entire public and let us, let us talk, to the, talk about that one to one. Um, invite me to a platform of your choice, ask me those questions personally and I'll answer it to you alive in public but in any case what what the mainstream media wants us to believe for their their masters and the people who's always paying them for their advertisements and for for having a certain theme uh, in their newspapers and and on the television etc etc they want you to believe that jacob zuma is the evil one and i can tell each and every one of you that jacob zuma is just a, a normal South African citizen like you and me. We, he does not have any strange um, ideas about um, taking farms of the boers, uh, the boers, um, or farmers, whatever you want to, to call them. And um, all those ideas are, are totally fallacious. There is no such thing. Um, in contrast, he is actually a big supporter of if the if Mkonto Wisizwe might become the ruling party. He's, he's, he's open for discussion for the Burrs to, to get a, 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 um, a folk start, which they always wanted. Uh, I, I don't even think that there's plenty of people who are still supporting the, the idea of a folk start. I, I, I always say that I'm a South African, so, so why can't I have access and enjoyment of the entire country of ours? Uh, we can all live in harmony if we just simply respect one another. That is my, my, my approach, and everything that I'm doing is aligned to that. So the whole idea that, that uh, Jacob Zuma is suddenly going to start to, 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 to uh, go on a rampage and, and kill all the white people, he knows very well, and I can guarantee you that. He knows very well that we need each other. Um, the Zulus at the end of the day, or any other tribe in South Africa, wants to have their own independence at the end of the day. And what Mkonto Wisizwe is uh, challenging for the elections is a new constitution because the constitution of south africa as it is now has been written and approved by the judiciary which is aligned to the british now after 30 years we suddenly see one after the other problem that they have carefully put in our constitution which is now backfiring in our faces we need to challenge or rewrite the constitution of south africa and this time around it has to be approved by the people by way of a referendum. Not like it, it, it happened by the Constitutional Court uh, where the legal fraternity inspired by Britain has approved it. No, that, that cannot be. And um, we are sitting at a junction, at, at, at a fork in the road, whereby we can either align ourselves with a party like, like Mkonto Wisizwe, and people... I, Liberty Fighters Network is apolitical. We do not support any one specific political party. We, however, do encourage people to vote for political parties that's very much aligned with our thoughts and our goals that we have set for ourselves. So um, one of them is, I've mentioned it before, is the Organic Humanity Movement, OM, um, of this and uh, Lauren Bernardo. And, and, and then it's Mkonto Wisizwe. 
Um, I believe that I've met, I've, I've, I've had meetings with these people behind them, come to as I've said that, that Jacob Zuma has told me that the moment when they become the ruling party or has got some influence in government, which they will, I will be the one who assists with the reformation of our legal system. So that is a given. So um, at this point in time, the legal fraternity in South Africa is very, very, very concerned because they know how I dislike them. And um, and I'm not going to, <laughs> to, 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 to be cruel like they have treated the people of South Africa in any way, but a reformation there will be. Not just a transformation, total reformation of the legal system because our courts have been captured. The constitutional court has collapsed. The moment when I have exposed them that they had been giving illegal judgments without having any hearings to consider that, where the constitution specifically gives them the instruction that all matters before the constitutional court must be heard by a minimum of eight judges. Not considered, heard. Means that must physically be heard. The moment when I came out and said, oh, you have, I've caught you with figuratively with your pants down. That now I know in a series of events that none of those cases actually go to all the judges to be heard <laughs> because it's never heard. It's, it's only considered, but it's not, not by them. And why did they sadly ask someone like uh, Justice Jakub to, to come and assist them uh, with considering applications? Because of Liberty Fighters Network and our cases. Because they know that the panel or the, 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 the structure they used to have, in which just a few legal eagles, uh, they are called researchers for judges, have considered these cases and then they decide, oh no, just going to kick this one for, for to the sideline. Because of the fact that, that the capacity of, of the Constitutional Court has, has deteriorated to a point whereby they can only hear roughly 15 cases in a year. And there's, there's a now thousand or so cases going to the Constitutional Court annually. So they cannot hear it. It's impossible on all thousand cases for a minimum of eight judges to sit and consider it. Reading papers and papers, thick papers, um, and, and considering it, it's impossible. In the beginning, of the democracy in South Africa, it was very nice for the Constitutional Court to hear these constitutional cases, one after the other, and it was so nice and noble of them. But especially after the amendments of 2013 of the Constitution, they just simply came to a point whereby they could not have entertained all those cases anymore. They had to pick, and unfortunately many, many uh, cases with, with good merits were not discussed and Liberty Fighters Network is there to say what are you going to do with all those cases that you did not consider and you've actually made false court orders to say that you've considered or eight certain judges considered it but when you ask them and you, when you even go to the papers you will see that the papers has not even been been turned or used they didn't even read it Hence why they now, everything is now electronic and you send it through so that there cannot be any pages that, that, that can be seen, whether it's, it has been uh, paged through by, by a minimum of eight judges. People, that is about the reformation of the legal system in a summary. We need to change it. And the only people who at present can assist us with that is Jacob Zuma and the Mkonto Uzizwe party. So I'm not asking you to go and vote for them. I'm asking you to not fear Jacob Zuma and Mkonto Wisizwe. They are all people just like you and me. They all want the best for South Africa and they are well aware of it that they cannot chase the white people and the birds into the sea, as some organizations would like to tell you. The DA and its new coalition that they have formed um, they are a bunch of clowns, really. Um, they have absolutely, the only ideals that they've got is to defeat the ANC. That, that, that's the only ideals they've got. And if I see, for example, in my own city, Pretoria, how 
dilapidated Pretoria has gotten under the rule of the DA. And I know how the DA under people like Herman Mushaba have totally destroyed Johannesburg as well. And I know about people like uh, uh, Mike Hampton, who has gone through hell because he dared to expose the DA's corruption in um, in, in Naisna and, and the Garden Route area. Um, and and that, that poor guy, uh, I, no, he eventually thought that I was also a an agent of of of, of his enemy. But 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 it, it, it's rightful um, because the poor guy has gone through hell, and uh, just because he exposed corruption of the DA. Um, yeah, people, I think 29 May is going to be a turning tide in the history of South Africa. If the DA and its coalition is going to manage to become the new majority party, ruling party, the chances are very good that, that I might take my, my, my family and, and just go and to another country, definitely not a, a British or Commonwealth country, but just probably Russia. Uh, just just go there and, and, and start a new life there because I'm not prepared to, to serve under the DA which is which are all puppets of our real enemies and the, uh, our real enemies are the British monarchy inspired organizations and people aligned to them like the Scalum Boss Mafia. So if ever they, they go into rule, um, we are going to have lockdowns. We are going to have mandatory vaccinations. We are going to have everything evil out there that you can imagine will come our way. At this stage, the ANC is actually protecting us from all the, the harsh uh, ideas that the New World Order has got for South Africa. And remember that South Africa is very important for the world. Because of the Cape route uh, around uh, Cape Town, the, the sea route, everyone wants to have a cut of the pie. And the only people that I believe can eventually save us is a very good relationship with someone like Russia or some kind of country like Russia, for example. I'm not very much... Uh, happy with what the Americans and the British have done to South Africa for a very long time, manipulating us, preventing us from becoming a real rainbow nation as what we have planned. People, I hope that this video has given you some other background on why Jacob Zuma and Tum Kontu Wissizwe should not be feared. Um, so, I've given you the, the, the information. As I always say, it's up to you to go and find the truth yourself. This is information I'm providing to you from another angle. Go and weigh up all the information out there and come to your own decision at the end of the day. Don't accept my word. Don't just go and accept the mainstream media or the DH's word for, for that or, or some other um, uh, your patriotic um, burr organization who just want to, to protest and 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 uh, vapor a uh, vier keer clear vlag out there. Um, people, yeah, for, uh, I can't see that there's ever going to be a um, a folk start in the way that we are made to to consider that about what. Two thirds of South Africa is just going to uh, go to this this uh, secession, and the, it's it's going to be a new. It's not going to happen, people. It's not. Uh, I think it's time that we face a reality. We stop believing the mainstream media, and we start thinking about the reality that why are they attacking Jacob Zuma all the time? Is it because he's corrupt? Um, people, I cannot confirm or deny that that Jacob Zuma is corrupt. I'm not dealing with a corruption case at all. I'm just telling you from the evidence, 2,000 odd pages of evidence that I have submitted for him to the African Commission. In there, there's a lot of written, confirmed, affidavit evidence that Jacob Zuma is not nearly the corrupt guy or the untouchable that the media has, mainstream media told you. It's time that you get the true facts and start to realize that uh, that there's, there's always three sides to, to a story. Your side, the other side, and the truth. Until the next day.
God bless. Liberty Fighters Network. Liberty Fighters Network. Liberty Fighters Network.